good morning. It's bright, bright and early. We are not exploring a city. We are back in home base, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. We're gonna try to make up for some lost time. I know we've had two short days, two $54 days, and that is no bueno. So we're gonna hustle it out all day long, strap up the camera, show you what goes on on Hilton Head Island, Bluffton, and Okatee, South Carolina. It is a combination of those three cities which uh, encompasses my dash area. Let's go dash it up! Yeah, for Maddie D. It was just the water jacks and the breakfast sandwich, bacon. Yeah, and bacon, and strawberries. yeah uh, bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich, one donut, one donut. What and, was the donut? Uh, choose your variety glazed chocolate cake and then a chocolate frosted with sprinkles. A chocolate? Yeah, just okay, two total. Chocolate glazed It's strange sometimes how they have it listed out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. But like, if in their dozens, they cannot pick. Yeah, that's All true. Right, there Thank you, go. you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. All right, we got a double order to Walmart. I decided to take this one because it's taking us out to Bluffton, and I just want to keep it interesting. So I'm going to make some room in the car because the first order is 25 items and the second order is 30 items. And we want to make sure that we can actually like keep these items separated. So I think I'll do one order up front and one order in the back. All right, pretty smooth morning so far. No hiccups, no weird interactions, no uh, unassigned deliveries, nothing like that. So. Friday's going good so far. We're taking this third order, which was that additional Walmart order for $13. We're shooting that off island. It's about 15 minutes away, but it's gonna put me in a good dash zone. Let's keep grinding. Hey, what's up? What's up? Um, picking up for Mary E. There you go. All right, thank you guys. Thanks, you too. We're gonna take a little lunch break here. It's 10.33, get out on the beach, relax a little bit, enjoy the island. We gotta get him the water. It's gonna dry up. Taking a lunch break, we're on the beach. Mitchellville Beach, Hilton, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Always cool stuff going on. This is a dead horseshoe crab. You see a lot of these dead, dead guys out here on the beach. The smell is absolutely horrible. You can see everything's been picking on them. All right, we're going to a new restaurant right now. It's a good order, $8, about three miles away. Let's go see what it's all about. Hi, picking up a DoorDash for Shannon. Both of these? Yeah. Alright, thank you so much. Thanks, thank you. DoorDash. Hero. Thank you. Alright, wasn't too bad. The orders were up on time for the most part. A couple minutes late on that second order, but the employees were really with it. So appreciate the hard work from Hickory Tavern. We got an additional order that popped up while I was waiting for that first order. So this is gonna be a nice little run for us. I think it's this little Disney resort. Am I about to go to Disneyland? Hello, welcome home. I, is this 22 Harborside Lane? Oh, uh, yes, this is 22 Harborside Lane. Okay, I have a DoorDash delivery for Connie T, and the instructions were to bring it to the front desk. Certainly, that's going to be that first building on the right top of the stairs. Thank you so much. I will let him know. Have a good day. Thank you, Betsy. Hey, I just want to make sure where, what's your location, because I'm about to, I'm about to go on lunch, and I just want to make sure where you're at. 
Absolutely. Let me check my GPS real quick. I'm literally, I'm literally just coming out of uh, uh, Shelter Cove, and it's saying nine minutes. So I'm 4.4 miles away. So there was a, uh, there was two Hickory Tavern orders, and the first one was delivered here. So you're next up on the route, and uh, like I said, it should be nine okay. minutes. Okay. Can you do me a favor? I'm, about, I'm about to go on lunch. Can you just drop, leave it at the location? yeah um i so this is going to 20 or i'm sorry hold on i just followed the gps through the app so 20 hunter road is that um yeah, a residential but, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm, no i'm fed up because i'm leaving the the building that's i got you i'm asking if you can leave it okay so i'm leaving the building and that's why i'm asking if you can go back and leave it there oh yeah 100 percent. i'm definitely going to leave it at 20 hunter hunter road I got you. No, 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 no. At the Whoa. place at the Hickory Tavern. Oh, no, no, no. I've already, I picked that up about 20 minutes ago. See, I, I went to the restaurant, picked up the orders. I have to swipe to confirm that I pick up the Please, orders. You don't, you don't understand. I'm leaving for lunch. No, I, I understand, but I already have the orders. I, I'm already in route. I've already been to Hickory Tavern. I already picked up two orders. I delivered the first one, and I'm in route to 20 Hunter Road. I understand that you're you're not going to be there, but I have to deliver this to 20 Hunter Road, or else DoorDash won't pay me for the order. Does that make sense? All right, guys, that was a slightly frustrating order. The second customer was upset that her DoorDash order wasn't quite timing up with her lunch break. She called halfway through my delivery wanting me to take it back to the restaurant. It just wasn't possible at that point in the process. Um, and also, I have to take that food to the destination through the app or I can't confirm the delivery. So she's got to understand, at least from the perspective of a delivery person, being that she works for FedEx, I can't just take the item not where it's supposed to go. Anyways, we just scooped up another order to Oko. I really like this place. They've got great food and they've always got the orders ready to go. If not, I'm only waiting a minute or two. So usually good tipping orders too because people are spending more on this food. They order in higher quantities. We'll see what happens. Hey, how you going? Good, uh, picking up for Fakita, eh? What's that camera for? Um, I'm just vlogging the experience. Oh, so like, a lot of weird stuff happens like out there, you know what I mean? Oh. So just for uh, just for fun. Oh, fun. Yeah. Have those big houses around you. It's cool to film it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like a weird mixture of people that end up on the island too, you know? But um, I was just talking to the camera. I love coming to this restaurant because it's, the DoorDash delivery is always fast. It's always good, and then people tip pretty well on this food. Yeah. So it says a lot. Like they like ordering it. They like taking. What's your channel? Uh, Austin's Coastal Delivery. Austin Coastal Delivery on YouTube. Yep, on YouTube. All right. It's a it's a brand new channel, so not too many subscribers. So. I'll be one of them then. Awesome. Thank you for the support. Austin Coastal Delivery. Delivery. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just got a subscriber. Okay, we're gonna run this last order to McDonald's. Small one, six bucks, three miles. In a quarter of a mile. Continue straight. Continue straight, baby. To the Mickey D's. All right, like I said, last order. Then we're gonna take a break. This will put us at $76 after we complete this order. So, assuming nothing crazy happens. I got greedy with the dash and decided to squeeze in two more Walmart orders. Good thing I did though, it was projected to make an additional $14. There was an additional tip on that second order, which put me for a total of 23. So adding 23 on to 76, we're at 99 for lunch. All right, signing back on for the dinner dash. Let's add a couple more hours on it today. Try to get that $99 to I don't know, 130, 140, 150, who knows, it's dinner time. All right, order number one, Cinco Mexican Grill. I really like this place. Most of the time the orders are ready to go unless they're super slammed. I got the chest mount underneath the shirt so we're a little less inconspicuous. I can just snap the camera in. Still looks pretty obvious, but. <laughs> Thank you. 
Buffalo uh, pickup for Timothy D. Okay, I'll go check on it. I'm pretty sure they're packing it right now. Okay. 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 Timothy D. It's that one. This one? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Order number two. As soon as I came back to the little restaurant area here, it came in. One hot mama's nine dollars. Kind of a far distance, but there's a good chance that there's an extra tip on this order, so we're definitely gonna take it. Let's go scoop it up. Uh, vlogging and just holding accountability too because you get a lot of like rude encounters and stuff like that so. <laughs> yeah. sweet thanks man you want to be on the vlog sure you want to say something to the world I don't know what to say. <laughs> Have a good night, man. So I don't mind going into One Hot Mama's, but I definitely wore the camera because sometimes I just get weird reactions. I, one time I had a manager like trying to sell me on this new service called Cool Blue Delivery, like gave me a card, told me DoorDash was trash, told me that Cool Blue or Cool Delivery was gonna pay me five bucks per order. Lady, I've had $52 orders before at DoorDash. I'm I'm perfectly happy. Order number three, Jersey Michaels. Gotta love good old Jersey Michaels. They're always fast and ready. The only thing I don't like about this location, there's terrible internet connection. So <sighs> I gotta know my name before I go in there and not my name I mean the customer's name so look at your app about a mile or two before you go into this Jersey Mike's it's the Jersey Mike's on 170 just as you get off 278 going from Hilton Head into Beaufort you've got a Jersey Mike's there you've got a Dunkin Donuts a Burger King a Parker's and a Zaxby's that all do DoorDash orders and Jersey Michaels is really the only one I'll mess around with. The reception is so bad at the other places that your DoorDash just gets all jumbled up and lost in translation. And if you're not looking ahead of time at the addresses and you're expecting to see the address after you've confirmed and swiped, you can forget about it. So take these orders, but be smart, strategize, or upgrade your phone to 5G which I need to do. All right, guys, let's scoop it up. Hello. Yeah, picking up for Jansen. Cooper? Cooper? All right, thank you. All right, order number four. This is the Outback Steakhouse, and I just got a text saying that the order was ready for pickup. I should be able to pull up into the pickup parking spot, and an employee will come outside and bring the order to my car. I really like Outback for this main reason. They have a good system going for the DoorDash deliveries. All right, I'm a little confused because this address he gave me was to TD Bank, so we're gonna call the customer and see what's going on. Hello. Hey, Tyshell, this is Austin with DoorDash. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Hey, I got your order and I followed it all the way to the GPS uh, location and it took me to uh, TD Bank. I know I'm probably I close. Order this is for me. Just keep on, leave the bank and go to the left and it'll take you down into a few houses and then you're gonna not the first left but the second left all right so this is actually kind of frustrating because i'll have to drive back to that td bank to be able to mark that the customer has received their order which is fair i mean it's to prevent dashers from just confirming that they left the order without actually taking it to the customer so no big deal because the bank is on our way out. It's just one more step. 
All right, order complete. Tyshell, you're a sweetheart. Thank you for coming down and helping me out and making that process go faster. And mostly, thank you for answering your phone. Okay, so we're gonna stop the night right there. We had four more additional orders for an additional $37. This puts us at $136 for the day at about four hours and 30 minutes of active dash time. This is what I love so much about DoorDash is I'm not constrained to an eight hour schedule of hustle and grind. I used to work for a landscape company and I used to bust my ass and I would come home every day hating my job, sore and just tired and not motivated to get up the next day and do it again. With DoorDash, I can work at my own pace. I can make the same kind of money I was making at my last job and I keep my spirits high. There hasn't been one day of DoorDashing where I came home hating my job, not wanting to do it the next day. Also, in saying that, I will tell you, I've always given DoorDash 100% positivity. I took it head on. When I figured out that I could make the same amount of money, I treated it like any other job and I respected it. It's not always the easiest thing in the world. And what you guys can see from my videos is sometimes you have to take certain steps to ensure that the order gets all the way through to the customer. Stuff that you're not thinking about. And this is why I think my channel is so helpful for you guys because you can see what the Dasher experience is like. You can see how you can make money just like I am and you can sort of see the things to look out for or, or to try or to do differently so that when you become a Dasher and you set out to make your goals, you're set up for success. Thank you guys for watching this video. I had so much fun making it. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment, tell me what you think.